and the twits or the braids are out. It's been a lot of growth and I'm very thankful for those that, you know, what do they say? Do the, let's do the pull test here. Let's do the pull test. Y'all see that? Oh, can you see? It is growing. Yay! And cheers to a new day. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody, for coming in. This is Nakia of Nakia's Peace of Life, and today is day 15 of my 21 day fast. And I will be again going over what um, this day has brought, um, you know, a summary for that, and you know, uh, cover those three basic things that you come for what my energy level has been you know, my productivity, and uh, overall lessons learned. And I may even give you some uh, pictures. Again, I haven't been taking pictures throughout the time as far as weight loss because that hasn't been the primary focus for me. However, I will give you some pictures because I've definitely shed a good amount. I may have taken some video earlier on, um, but I'll share with you that. And um, yeah, let's get right into it. And so I hope you all are doing well for the day. I'm sitting outside. It's been so beautiful versus recording um, inside this time around. So I have my water with lemon. People ask, what's in here? You know, my water. I need to get a bigger jug because I definitely go through this really quickly. So, mm -hmm. lemon. Yes, the past couple of days have been super hot and dry at night. And I, it was really, really dry. And so that can just zap the, the moisture because it's not any in the air that you can really pull from. And so um, just being mindful of that completely. Okay. So let's go ahead and start off with one. One, how's my energy levels? Energy levels was really, really good. I got to come out and, and do some gardening. I uh, did a little bit of stretching in the morning. I had a sore shoulder the night before and did some stretching. I'm really looking forward to getting um, back into it and, um, you know, movement, other things. So I'm almost there. Still going to take it easy. Not going to go straight for, excuse me, doing like back tucks and stuff. Although I'm very excited to get back into it. So, um... I think that the time I said 90, I would say like 95%. And um, that is really, really good. So again, just, just water, lemon, a little bit of uh, the saline solution. Again, that's just like pink Himalayan crystals and water uh, when needed, especially on super hot days where like I start to sweat and I'm losing. That otherwise, when it was cooler, it wasn't necessary. So again, it's you know in reference to the the climate that you're in as well. All right, number two, you know what my productivity was. I was able to do some cleaning. I was able to do some gardening. I was able to do some painting, um, planning, and um, those things were really good. We um, just got a. Um, a new uh, tool, <laughs> a new toy uh, inside that everybody can enjoy. Uh, I'll probably put some video up to show you what that is. Um, really good stress reliever and share. If you think you can guess what we just added to our gym equipment, go ahead and um, put your put your guesses below, and I'll do a reveal to see how close you were. Um, <laughs> Also, make sure that you like, share, and subscribe um, to continue to support the channel. Really do appreciate it. Okay, so, um, yeah, so I got to do a lot of things. The, the raised bed that's actually behind me, we got to fill it well with dirt. So I'll be going through with the seeds and other things like that um, uh, tomorrow to get that in and um, put the rest of these seeds in before our our window of opportunity passes. Um, 
the next thing we had was, you know, lessons learned. This is pretty straightforward. Like, things are really coming to a, um, a what do I want to say, coming to a um, closing. I'm looking forward to, like, celebration and, and um, the wind's blowing. It's really beautiful out here. Hmm. of everything that I've been able to learn since then. So, uh, some of the things I wanted to share of the things that I've learned is that um, do what makes sense. Um, what I'm realizing is certain things that I may have done in the past really didn't make sense. And sometimes it's just doing it because you're just in the habit of doing things. Hmm. It goes through like all areas, whether that's, you know, financially, emotionally, spiritually, physically, um, you know, mentally, just doing things, but then really taking time to reflect on why you're doing those, what's the impact of it, um, that it, it's not that it kills spontaneity, you still have that, but it's just really thinking about the intention and the, the motivation uh, behind what it is that you're doing. And being more mindful, right? Being more mindful of it. So then when things do go or they complete, you know, the gratefulness is there for why you did what you did. So do what makes sense. Um, reprogramming old habits, right, is, uh, to align uh, to my new way of living. So I, I think this is a really, really, really big part because there's certain practices uh, for me that now I can see how they're no longer going to serve me going into this next stage of my life. And um, uh, that takes time to see it and then say, okay, now I have to realign because how I was doing things before is not how I'm going to be able to do them going forward. And so um, that alignment process, providing time and space to see like, oh, yeah, I can see how I was doing that especially when it comes to like priorities and being able to, you know, make the best decision as to make, when I say best decision, of course, that best decision is not my decision or what I think that is for you. It's your decision, right? Uh, so the best dish, decision for you, your family, same thing for me, me, my family, and um, the impacts of that too. And really giving it some thought versus kind of just going. And that slow down process already, I can see how it's already helping me to make better informed decisions, um, being more confident in my decisions and knowing why I'm making those. Um, if I need to, you know, um, support it, it's like, like a thesis support it with why I'm making that particular decision. And um, yeah, for uh, optimal alignment. And so that's basically you know, the day was really, really nice, and um, I took a nap, like that, doing, going, 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 doing, and then once you start to feel okay, and probably even before, before you, like, start to feel like, uh, you know, excuse me, time to get tired, that, taking a nap, so that nap that I took was so good, so good, so good, so good. So, you know, uh, and I think that's an important practice to still share with the children, too. You go, you don't want to always see to go, 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 and never take a break, um, which is kind of something that I had coming up. So I'm so used to go, 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 go. And that's a big habit that I'm breaking in, just being able to actually rest in that time. So. Make sure you give your body a rest. Make sure that you, you know, are giving yourself a time to shut down, even if it's like 10, 20 minutes or so. Take a walk outside, ground yourself, um, have that, because that'll help to cope with the challenges, right? Uh, oh, man. Yana, I apologize, y'all. So, yeah, really give yourself a chance to absorb um, the rest and relaxation and um, continue to charge on the go. So, 
that's pretty much it for me. I will stand up so you all can kind of see where I am as far as form right now. I haven't weighed myself or anything, but I definitely know I've shed a good amount of excess weight. And so I'm going to share that with you over the past couple of days. And then when I find a video or something, I'll show you uh, the before for that. And so, um, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Mm. If you have any questions, please feel free to put it down below. Mm. That's the ant. Hey, Mr. Ant. Mm. Okay, that's super good. All right, I'm going to put you maybe like right here. Let's see how this works out. All right. So this is, I'll put this chair there. So you can see, can you see me? All right, yeah, I didn't really take a picture before, but I should have. Uh, definitely have shed it a good amount of weight here y'all um, still shedding some weight here I think I took some pictures before and even as I get hydrated like my mommy belly is is coming together well so that's it um, that's me at the front let me see if I can uh, uh, shift it so you can you see thigh muscles here so this is me here to the front. This is me here to the side, side view, side view. This is me to the back. See my belly. And this side. Easy breath. And back to the front. So. Uh, I think it's like really just toned even more where my muscles were and um, when it's time for me to build back up and start to work back up I'll be able to tighten even further from this foundation now so it's super exciting um, happy cleansing for you um, I, overall I feel really good and this whole process has been um, the whole process has been uh, very educational and um, I'm learning so much the level of discipline too is even surprising me and so I um, really looking forward to the uh, the next phase of this because once it finishes I'm going into another you know cleansing part to um, add in the additional herbs needed and other things like that. So, uh, again, I'm thankful for this opportunity to share it with you all. Um, please, if you have any questions, things that I may not have shared that you wanted to get some more insight on, please feel free to ask, um, you know, comment, and uh, we can continue to do uh, this healing journey together. So, this is Nikia here of Nikia's Peace of Life. I want you to remember to find peace in life in living foods or what you see or what you hear, what you consume through your mouth and through your skin. All of that. Make sure that it's for the nourishment of your body. And with that, I took my hair out, y'all. <laughs> Have a blessed day and um, I'm thankful for you. And I hope that you know that you're truly special, okay, and your life matters.